All right, friends, by now, hopefully, you built your Gremlin, you wired your Gremlin, you've also programmed your Gremlin, thanks to Wes here. We are ready to finally fly this. Now, there's a couple key things we wanna make sure we do before we put it up for its first flight, right? Yeah, so we just wanna check and make sure that all the directions are going the right way. Even though we checked them on beta flight, we wanna double check and we actually gotta fly it. Too. And what you don't wanna do is check it while holding it in your hand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the ground. Really good point is to have this usually a few paces away with a pickle pointing away from you. In other words, the camera is the front of the camera, it's gonna point away from you, and and that way you can check your left, right, up, down, make sure everything's moving properly. I'll go ahead and just put this down right now. Yep, so let's go ahead and put it down and plug it in. And we're gonna get a little bit of throttle to get up off the ground. And there we go. And if I push it forward, it goes forward. Backwards, it comes backwards. Then side to side. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a little rotate. And there we go. So Wes, you have this in angle mode, correct? Yeah, so angle mode is going to make it so that way it's self-level, so I let go of the stick and it comes back to level again. Now this is definitely in the mode that you want to be in, especially if you're a beginner. And also for first flights, if you have this mode programmed, it gives you the confirmation that your gyros are working, your accelerometers are working. Also, it's leveled out nice and it's easiest to fly. Yeah. And then we also have acro mode, which is good for if you're a little more expansive pilot. Well, as you, <laughs> you can do flips. <laughs> you can do flips and rolls. <laughs> But the big thing to remember with acro mode is that acro mode, it will not bring itself back to level. Uh, when you let go of the stick, wherever it was at is where it's going to stay at. Yep, this is going to be a really cool feature, especially if you want to fly fast and you're flying FPV or you want to do acrobatics. Yeah. Acro. Very cool. So if you guys are new to flying here and you're wondering what sticks control what features, your right stick is going to control your pitch when you push it forward and backwards. And then when you push it to the, when you push your right stick to the left or the right, that's going to control your bank. Now, an easy way to kind of picture how this is going to control the quad is if you're sitting right on top of a Segway and you lean forward, that's going to kind of mimic how the quad behaves. And also, if you lean to your right or your left, that's going to be how your bank behaves. Also, on your left stick, you're going to have your throttle and you're going to have your rudder, which controls your yaw. That's going to rotate you like you're steering a car down the road. Oftentimes what you'll find is when you're flying through the air, you're going to be using your pitch and then your bank and your yaw together or sometimes just basically your rudder, right? Yeah. If you put a little bit of your roll with your uh, yaw, it'll actually make a smoother, quicker turn. If you do just yaw, you can ask where it wants to turn around and then it kind of wants to feel like it wants to slide. If you push them together in unison, you'll get a lot smoother of a turn. Now this is very similar to common fixed wing flying. What I oftentimes tell people to do is imagine you have a fixed distance in between your two sticks and you can kind of keep those parallel and it'll give you what we call a coordinated turn. You can experiment, every quad is gonna be a little different. Oftentimes you're gonna find that you don't need as much bank or rudder. Just try it out for yourself and learn from it. All right, so friends, I want to thank you for building along with the Gremlin Guardian with us. Wes, thanks so much for bringing us through the programming. Yeah, uh, it's a good thing to learn with the learning Betaflight and programming the flight controllers because uh, Betaflight is pretty much the same for almost all multi -rivers. If you were able to do this, you'll be able to grow and use exactly what Wes taught you on future models. All right, friends, thanks for being part of the family. We'll see you next time.